and welcome to Detox Bites episode 40. Um, and today we have a very special episode all about cacao um, or cacao. People pronounce it slightly differently depending on, I don't know, where you're from, I guess. Um, so we actually sell five different um, kind of stages of cacao, of the cacao, starting from the cacao bean uh, to cacao nibs, cacao liquor paste, it's sometimes called liquor and sometimes called paste or both, um, cacao butter and cacao powder. Um, so each each part of the process comes from the cacao bean. Um, so I'm going to show you a little bit about each product and tell you what you can do with them. So cacao in itself is one of nature's most incredible superfoods. Um, there's a lot of things in the papers at the moment saying chocolate is a superfood. Um, chocolate, like you would buy from the supermarket, is not a superfood. Um, it has loads of sugar and other um, nasty ingredients in. It's not raw and when something is heated above a certain temperature, um, it loses its nutritional value. It loses the minerals and, and nutrients that it contains. So not uh, it's not, but cacao is an incredible superfood. Um, a couple of the benefits are um, it has a really, really high concentration of antioxidants, which as we all know, are incredible for um, fighting oxidation in the body, keeping away free radicals. Cacao also has a really high level of magnesium. Um, magnesium typically in most of our soils, even organic places, organic farms, um, magnesium is really depleted. So in normal vegetables where we would have found it before, we're finding it is almost like 70% depleted. So um, to get more magnesium into your diet, then get more cacao into your diet because it is fantastic for any uh, cramps and pains, anything like that you have, it's good for the heart. Um, it's, yeah, it's a fantastic food for magnesium. So these are the raw cacao beans. Um, they're kind of about the size of half a small thumb. Um, and inside there, that's actually the shell, and inside there is the kind of raw cacao-y goodness bit. Um, and these actually come from the cacao, the tree that has pods, um, and inside these, the pods are quite large. They're probably, if I were to hold it with both my hands, it would take up both the hands, and inside the pod is all of these cacao beans. Um, and these have actually been dehydrated, um, so it's kind of a safe way of drying them without making them, without cooking them or burning them or anything like that. Um, and you can eat them like this, but they are very, very bitter. Um, way too bitter, I wouldn't eat them like this. Some people do, uh, but that's personal choice. Um, and But there are, you can crack them open and you can obviously do things with, with the cacao inside these beans. So from the cacao bean, we have then uh, the cacao nibs. And this is actually the inside of the cacao bean that has been crushed um, to make, you can see they're kind of quite small little um, niblets basically. Um, ha they have the same very bitter taste as the cacao bean. Um, so you, again, you might not want to eat them raw, but you just eat them. Some people do, they're quite crunchy. Um, and they're very fashionable nowadays. A lot of top restaurants are using them in desserts and things, even, you know, not necessarily raw restaurants, but just a lot of great restaurants are using them because they're really versatile and they have a lot of flavor. Um, so yeah, that's the, that's the next step on from the bean. So then the next step um, is raw cacao liquor paste um, and a lot of people might think if it's a paste that it's going to be um, softer you know like you would get paste in a in a uh, tube or something but this is it's solid and it actually looks like just a chunk of chocolate but it's basically made they get the cacao bean and they put it um, under a lot of pressure and a low temperature so it, st it still remains raw because it's a very low temperature but it basically turns the inside of the bean into a liquid um, and then it um, hardens again. Um, and that's why you get this kind of hard, chocolatey looking chunks, basically. Um, and again, it still tastes very bitter, but it makes the most amazing, uh, kind of totally authentic hot chocolate. So you can melt it with um, water and some nut milk and a bit of a sweetener, or add anything you like, like ginger or cinnamon and things in there, and it makes the most amazing, really thick and delicious hot chocolate. So the next stage is actually the cacao butter. Um, and as you can see, this is a kind of yellowy cream colored. Um, and it's not that got that chocolate color because it's separated from the powder. Um, so the process is that the paste is put um, under high pressure and again, low temperature. So it still um, remains raw. And um, the oil, which is the butter, and the cake, which is the powder, they separate so that you get then the two different products. So this still has 
um, a chocolatey smell and a kind of creamy chocolatey flavour, um, but it's much more versatile, you can do loads with it, um, and it's nowhere near as strong or as bitter as um, any of the other cacao products. Um, this is incredible for um, face creams, uh, lip balms, like loads of makeup things this can be used in, um, and body lotions and all that kind of thing. And also for making your own raw chocolate, this is the one. And then finally we have the cacao powder. Um, actually this is raw cacao powder and it's really important to stress that this is different from cocoa powder that you would get kind of in a pot made by um, a brand that rhymes with Radbury's for example. Uh, <laughs> so um, this is a really, really special raw product that comes from um, the Ariba Nacional strain of cacao. Um, it's from Ecuador and it is really beautiful, really delicious, um, pure and there's been no uh, cross-breeding between this and other cacao strains, so it's completely pure. Uh, this cacao powder is probably the most versatile of all the cacao products that we sell. Um, it can be used in pretty much anything that you want to flavour chocolatey. So raw chocolate, chocolate smoothies, chocolate ice cream, um, it doesn't have to be in raw, you know, it doesn't have to be in raw cooking or vegan cooking. It can be in any kind of cooking. Anything you want to have an amazing chocolate flavour, this is the real deal. So all of the five products uh, in, from today's video are, along with um, some really delicious raw chocolate and raw chocolate golden berries that we sell, are all linked in the description below. Um, or you can check them out on our website. Um, and do click here for our um, how to make raw chocolate video. It's a really great demonstration um, using a couple of the ingredients. Um, you can make your own really simple and delicious raw chocolate at home. Thank you so much for watching today. Um, we really appreciate your viewing. And if you like our videos, please do give us a subscribe or a thumbs up. Um, it means a lot to us to, uh, that you're interested. Uh, so go on, give us a watch, watch this one next. And uh, take care, bye.